Hey everyone, Duckus here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to change your voice into an e-girl voice. It's actually pretty easy. So in the description of this video, I included the first link, which leads you to a GitHub page, which has the actual voice changer on it. You go down here and you click the latest version. Now it might not be the same for you, but for me, it's 1.3, 1.5, sorry, 0.3.12a. Now you can click Google, but it is not very safe. And it's also like, has a lot of traffic on it, so it might not work. So just click Hugging Face and it should serve the same purpose. So then you want to download this version here, the 1.5 or whatever version it is, a.zip. Make sure it has CUDA in it and ONNX Direct ML. And you want to hit this little download button and it's going to download. Now this is about three gigabytes for me. I already have this downloaded, so I'm going to cancel cancel it. Once you have it downloaded, you can just extract it to whatever you want and it's going to take a bit. So I named the folder AI voice changer to make life easier. Now all this stuff you're going to know about it in a second, but it's not going to come in the original folder. You're going to want to click the MMVC server.sio and then from there you're going to want to click on, uh, you're actually going to want to scroll down and there should be a file, a batch file, uh, called start.http. This is the one you want to click. Now I created a shortcut so I won't have to keep going in here. This is the only file you're going to need like to start the program, but you still can't delete any anything else. You're going to want to go ahead and open it. Or if you want to create a shortcut, you can easily just click create shortcut by the delete button. Now keep in mind, this uses Python. So you need to have Python installed and PyTorch. So, I mean, you can just look up tutorials online for that. It's pretty straightforward. So these are my voices. I have several, but when you first install this, it's going to have four default voices, but usually the defaults don't sound very good. Now this is one of the defaults that come with the voice changer. Now, if you're a dude like me, you're going to want to set this tune up by around eight to 12. That's a good range. It doesn't matter, depends on your voice. Now this is meant for Japanese, I think. So it's gonna sound bad in English because the model was made for Japanese. You know, I'm gonna try to say something in Japanese like, uh, Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. I mean, it's not the best voice. It's pretty shitty actually. So this is the one I used for my first video. It's a starlight glimmer. Is that her name? I fucking don't know. Or sunset glizzer. I, I really don't care, but uh, this is basically, I have it at 12. Also the gain, I have it at 4 and 0 0.7. This varies between your mic and your voice. Is my voice working? Hello? Is my voice working? Hello? There you go. It, it basically works, you know? So now you can also be Markiplier. So, I mean, if you don't subscribe to Duckus, bad things will happen to you. If you don't subscribe to Duckus, bad things will happen to you. Well, I mean, Markiplier said it, so you should probably subscribe. Anyway, basically, this is, I forget what this one is. I think it's like a fucking, I don't know. Hello, I am a, an e-girl. Hello, I am a, an e-girl. Yeah, that sounds like a fucking, that sounds like a Stolfo. This is the one I used for my regular one. I renamed it and changed the image and everything because because I'm not giving away my secret. But basically, I'm going to try to talk. You know, I'm Duckus. You know, I'm Duckus. Now, before we get into these settings, I want to show you how to get some models. So uh, you're going to want to go into discord.com slash invite slash AI hub. I'm already in the server. You basically want to go down to search models. Well, no, you want to go down to voice models. There's plenty of voice models here. There's so many. You can literally be any character. There's bound to be a model for you somewhere here. I'm just going to download a random one like fucking I'll just get like a Dan TDM thing or whatever the fuck. All right. And once it's downloaded, you can just extract it and then it's going to lead to this file. Now you have an index and a path file. So you want to go back into the voice chain you want to go edit here. You want to click the edit button on the bottom right. Now you can override even the default ones if you wanted. You can have up to 10 voices here. I'm going to override the Starfire one. I tried it. It does not, it's not compatible with my voice. You might have that issue too it, when doing some of these voices because not every AI voice is compatible with the user. Sometimes it might take a few tries before finding the one that actually works for you. But anyway, you're going to want to click the path file here for the model and for the index. Not every one of these has an index, but a lot of them do. So, so just put the index file in there. You're going to want to upload it. Now it doesn't come, now it doesn't come with an image, so it can be a little confusing. So if you want, you can just change the icon and then put a file in there. I'm not going to do that because I'm lazy. I'm going to try to speak in a British accent to see if it actually works. I know last time this was crazy. I know last time this was crazy. Yeah, so basically it's, I've actually never used that. That's pretty fucking convincing. If you want to fiddle with these, it might work. Apparently my voice doesn't need to do that with this guy's with Dan TDM. But if you're a girl, you might want to put it down or if you're like, if you have like a really 
deep voice, you might want to put it up. You know, regardless, just fiddle with it. Now, what you want to do is, for the audio, probably should have said this first, but the input needs to be microphone, your main microphone. I have an AT2020. And then for the output, for now, you're going to want to test the speakers or preferably headphones that you used to listen to your own voice in the AI for now. I'll show you how to use it on Discord later, and you're going to want to change that output when that happens. Chunk is basically how many chunks it takes. So if I click eight, it's going to be very, very choppy. Very, yeah, very yeah, it's too choppy. Now, usually, like, 384 is a good spot. And as you can tell, it's not and as, as choppy. as you can tell, it's not as choppy. That's an awful British accent. But the point is, the higher the chunk, the better it's going to sound. But it's also going to take longer to process. So if I do 2048, I'm a B Markiplier. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier, and you better subscribe to Duckus. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier, and you better subscribe to Duckus. Yeah, so I mean, the lar so I mean, it's pretty delayed if you have a higher one. I usually, for my videos, do around 896 to 960. Also, for the extra, you want to have either 65,000 or 131,000. I usually do 131,000 for the best results. And also, you're going to want to do, for this, I usually do crep, crepe, or however the fuck you pronounce that. I don't know. But just click this, and it should get rid of some of the cutting out if you have that issue. And also, for the graphics card, if you don't have a graphics card, you click CPU. But if you have a graphics card, it's recommended to use that one. But the better hardware that you have, have, the faster this will work and the better that it will work now with all that said I'll teach you how to use it on discord I'm gonna want to go into the third link in the description I don't know if I mentioned discord being the second link but this is the AI hub is the second link third link is the discord you're gonna want to download the Windows or the Mac version depending on your operating system and uh, I already have it so I'm gonna cancel this now when you download it it's gonna be a V B cable driver pack you just want to you know extract to whatever folder you want now, I already extracted it and put it into this folder because it makes life easier. Also, for the models, it's recommended to just make your own folder and put it in the same folder. Just have it all organized. But now you're going to want to click VB Cable Driver driver Pack. You're going to want to do this VB Cable underscore setup under, underscore x64. You make sure it's x64. And then you're going to want to run it as administrator. Now, I already have it downloaded, so it's telling me that's already installed. But for you, it's going to say install driver. So you want to click that. And then you're going to want to restart your computer. Now, I have had a, an issue with this virtual audio cable, and it breaks the sound on my computer. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set your original headphones as the default. But you're not going to want to disable this. You're going to want to leave it ready. As for recording, you're going to want to set your microphone as default and then go back here. And again, leave this as ready. And your audio should be fine after that. So once you've done all that, you go back into your voice changer and you're going to want to click output and you're going to want to select the virtual audio cable that you clicked before. And now we're going to test this out on Discord. So I'm on my alt here. You're going to want to click the input device as the cable output and the output device as your speakers. Now you're going to want to click start and you also want to click a voice you want. Hello, does my mic work? Hello, does my mic now, it's going to sound a bit cut out, but that's only because it's a mic test. If you're in an actual call, it's going to sound a lot better. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Again, I'm not going to say exactly what voice I'm using because it is a secret for my content, but you will be able to use whatever voice you want from the AI hub with this new voice changer. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and peace out.